It's only been a few months since the last Influencer Super Bowl, but Tarte is already back at it again, and they're taking a bunch of influencers to Turks and Caicos. We have all the usuals like Meredith and Alex Earl, but there were also a lot of changes this time around. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Back in January, Tarte held a trip in with Tarte Trip, and they switched things up from the Tarte trips a lot of us were used to. Tarte Trip started when the beauty gurus on YouTube were huge. We always got the best vlogs, there was always so much drama, it was truly our version of the Super Bowl. This time around, Tarte decided to invite TikTokers instead of YouTubers. TikTok is where the money is right now, there's tons of people blowing up, it's all new faces with a new audience, so from a marketing stance, it totally made sense. But since they went with this new group of people, a lot of their audiences weren't used to the YouTube brand trips. When people saw these influencers going on business class flights to Dubai, staying in the nicest hotels packed with all this expensive product, doing the most amazing activities, and literally having the time of their lives, people were like, what's going on here? So many people over on TikTok started to break down the cost of how much the trip would be. Where are they staying? Oh, Rich Carlton. And this is one of those hotels you can't even find how much money it costs to stay there. You have to like call somebody because it's like they know rich people ain't booking it on Expedia. And everyone was trying to make sense of how this was financially adding up for Tarte. There was also this whole other layer to the Tarte trip that was really upsetting people. I saw a lot of comments from customers being like, this makes me not want to buy from Tarte. You're charging us so much money for your products. Meanwhile, you're taking influencers on this amazing trip, handing out products when they can afford to do these things all on their own. People even left suggestions for Tarte and were like, why don't you hold a contest to take your loyal customers on these kind of trips instead of influencers? But what people might not have realized was this was Tarte's marketing budget. Instead of sponsoring tons of influencers throughout the year or running expensive ad campaigns, they invest that money into experiences for these influencers and they feel it works out best for them. They're able to meet the influencers on a personal level, the influencers are vlogging their trip, using their product, it gets tons of people talking, and it just makes sense. The CEO and founder of Tarte, Maureen Kelly, talked to Glossy after the famous Dubai trip and she set the record straight on all the rumors surrounding the trip. She said, Every day, brands make decisions about how to spend their marketing budgets. For some companies, that means a huge Super Bowl commercial or a multi-million dollar contract with a famous athlete or celeb. We've never done traditional advertising, and instead, we invest in building relationships and building up communities. The other theory was that Tarte teamed up with a tourist board in Dubai, and that was how they afforded everything. Maureen addressed that as well, and she said, I have to laugh at some of these conspiracies. I will say, people are creative, but no. I can confirm that we definitely didn't have help from any tourism boards. Tarte did, however, partner with Sephora Middle East. Well, despite the backlash last time around, Tarte is doing the trip once again. They're currently in Turks and Caicos, and I gotta say, it looks like they really took in people's criticism and made a lot of changes. To start the trip off, Maureen posted a TikTok and talked about how she started Tarte and why she chose to do brand trips. I started Tarte 24 years ago. We had no money for anything, really. <laughs> Less commercials, big advertising, billboards. So to make the brand work, I knew I needed to leverage like what I had, my passion, my drive, my love for all of the products. I knew that if people got to hear the story from me directly and understand what each product was about, that things might click and then they also might fall in love with the brand. So I invited Instagrammers on our first ever trip in Wattard 2015 to Turks and Caicos. We spent months preparing. I was like, gosh, no one is going to come. We got the RSVPs back and we had people like Patrick Starr, Desi Perkins, and Katie, and Tenny, and Nicole Concilio. You know, fast forward a little bit, we get to Turks and Caicos, are sitting by this rental house on the floor, scrubbing these dirty kayaks. My brother's like climbing palm trees, stringing lights himself as we're blowing up pool floats, just like you know what, as stressful as the trip was, because you know, we were putting all our chips down, it was so much fun. 
we got to know all of them. We got to hear about their families, the things they cared about, the things that they loved. We got to hear their feedback on the products, which is like more important than anything. The things they liked, the things they didn't like, the things that they wish that we created. So, so cool. At that point on, I knew that like genuine relationship building would always be a really big part of Tarte. It's okay that I can't compete with the big guys. Striking a real relationship with someone, a long-term relationship that you're gonna have forever, the most important thing, the most valuable thing, of course in life, but also in business. Today, we might be a big brand, but we still don't operate like other big brands. We don't do traditional advertising. We don't use real model. We don't do transactional one-off sponsored posts. We build authentic, long-term relationships with our creators and with our tartlets. And that's what prompts real authentic reaction and like genuine love and like feedback for our products. And even now, I always bring creators somewhere that I have a personal real connection to Dubai. For example, we had an office there for seven years and I wanted that to be a female empowerment trip. And that's why we went there. And we made a donation in each attendee's honor to help uplift Middle Eastern women with you know, their education, which is, you know, giving back is such an important part of our DNA. I chose Turks, of course, because I've been coming here with my family for 20 years. We do all of our family reunions here. Our very first trip in Matart was here. So excited to just get to know people on this trip. I just have a good time. That's what this is all about, right? And it just goes to show this format is working because tons of influencers who either been on Tarte trips or done shoots for Tarte are commenting under this video being like, I loved my experience with Tarte and it changed my life. We had Patrick Starr who commented, I'll never forget that trip. It literally changed my life. Abby Herbert said, my Tarte shoot was the best shoot I've ever done. I felt so loved by Tarte and the entire team. Emmy Combs also commented and said, this made me smile so much because I felt so loved and welcomed on the Dubai trip with you guys. Such a special moment. Tarte also listened to people's feedback about giving back to their normal, everyday customers. The main criticism of the last trip was that Tarte should have held a giveaway for the people who aren't influencers and use their hard-earned money at their normal jobs to buy Tarte and support them. Well, that's exactly what Tarte did. Maureen is holding a giveaway to win all the PR that we see the influencers get in their hotel room. You know it would not be a trip with Tarte without an amazing room giveaway. Let's do this. I want to show you some of my favorite products in the drop. All the Tarte swag you could ever possibly want. Such cute socks, comfy sweats, tank top, all the hats and t-shirts, you guys. It's so good. And of course, all the makeup you could possibly ever dream. Shape tape for life. Makeup, makeup, makeup. And if that's not enough, she's even holding a giveaway to win your own trip in with Tarte. I've been keeping this a secret and I can't believe I finally get to share. Who wants to come on our next trip in with Tarte? We're bringing you our Tarte list on a full out trip in with Tarte. You'll get to travel with us to a top secret destination. Hang out with me and get the fall influencer trip experience. And I'm sure this is gonna cost them more money, but it's only a drop in the bucket compared to what traditional advertising can cost. Now not only are they getting thousands of people taking their brand and their friends to enter the contest, but they also completely eliminated the main criticism they received last time around. Now let's talk about who's attending this trip. The trip is happening in two installments. We already had the first group attend and right after they left, a whole other group of influencers arrived. We just said goodbye to our season one cast and we are so sad. They were incredible. The season two Islanders are about to enter the villa. I think it's gonna be great. Let's see what kind of energy they bring, come on. We had our usuals like Alex Earl and Meredith Duxbury, but we also had a lot of new people from all corners of the internet. Tarte isn't sticking strictly to the beauty community. They ventured into so many different categories of influencers, which is not only amazing because it gives so many new people the chance to experience a brand trip, but they're also reaching new people who might not have thought about Tarte beforehand. Let me give y'all my honest opinion about the Tarte trip to Turks and Caicos. Marketing geniuses, and I'm gonna tell you why. Let's start with the hard facts. I do not wear makeup. I will never be a Tarte customer. I will never shop on Tarte's website. I will never give them money. This time last year, did I know who they were? Nope. 
But between Dubai and Turks and Caicos, I absolutely know who they are now. I know the name of their CEO now. I don't even know the name of the CEO for some of my favorite most shopped companies. I know that one of their best products is the Shape Tape Concealer, even though I'm never going to use it or purchase it. That alone is called brand awareness, one of the most powerful marketing tools to use. And that is what these brand trips do. They generate so much brand awareness. They even invited Tana Mojo on the trip, and that's a pretty big deal. A lot of brands don't see Tana as brand friendly, and even though I can see why, Tana has a huge audience who buys what she pushes, and they're gonna love to see that Tarte invited her. You guys, we are officially tripping with Tarte. Look at this. Stop that right now. Look at this room. Look at all of the nice touches they put on everything. I'm gonna actually cry. Like, what's that? Like, your girl's not brand safe. Like, that's way too nice. Everything is everywhere. They're so nice. And then, oh my God, a bit of poor. Like, I'm gonna start crying. This is insane. Hey, Turks. Can we also talk about how Tana pretty much manifested this whole trip for herself? And Tart is even recognizing that. Did I mention, and I've always said this, I've always said this, how much I love Tarte. Not only is my concealer, foundation, bronzer, powder, eyebrow powder, eyeliner, mascara, lip liner. Another creator on the trip that I haven't seen on any brand trips in the past is Brianna Chicken Fry from the BFS podcast. Um, I keep getting a lot of questions about this because the Tarte brand trip like is today, like everyone's getting there. And I'm assuming since everyone's getting there, you talk about it now. I'm, are they gonna just invite me? I hope not, Maureen, I love you. Um, but I'm, there's two groups, so I'm in the second group. And the second group's pretty freaking spicy. One thing that people picked up on was the fact that influencers on this trip are actually using Tarte products. Man Eater blushes are so good. I've had this one. This is the Glow Light Tarte C blush. I've had it for a while. But these colors, ooh, insane. Like, this looks phenomenal. Using this Tarte Clay Play palette for bronzer, and I'm loving the results. Can we talk about this blush? I did not realize this was cream. I will be using this tomorrow. For now, we're gonna use Tarte Energy. I love this stuff, it's so good. We're literally supposed to be at dinner right now and I haven't even started my eyes. One brow down, one to go. Okay, look at how pretty this eye look is. Okay, lashes secured. Finishing up the lip. During the Dubai trip, people thought it was so strange that influencers were literally doing get ready with me's using every single product but Tarte. And when they finally did use Tarte, they didn't even know what the product was called. This time around, all the influencers are promoting Tarte using all the products, and they actually know what product they're there to celebrate. We also have a new product. It's a new shape tape, my favorite. It's the radiant one. So this one's more like medium coverage. It's gonna give you like a glowy finish. Oh, wait. Oh! Wait, I'm obsessed. Wait, this is so hey, look at pretty. Me. I've been a shape tape girly since day one, middle school, when I was like having acne all over my face. I was like, shape tape or die. Wait, why is this like the perfect summer concealer? <gasps> the only person I've seen so far to stray away from Tarte on this trip was Alex Earl. During her get ready with me, she ended up doing a paid Bondi Sand sponsorship and people were like, um, what's going on here? This stuff is the best for under your eyes. The Bondi Sands Eye Spy Brightening Cream. That's the only thing I used right here and it just brightened my face up. The top comment says, doing a Bondi Sands brand deal while on a Tarte brand trip is such a slay. And someone commented back and said, I'm surprised Tarte allowed it. A lot of the time they'll include blackout dates in their contracts for the trip and you can't advertise for other brands. But I mean, clearly Tarte isn't strict with that stuff. I think they want influencers to come on the trip, have a good time, and if they truly like the products and want to show it off, they're going to get a much more genuine mention compared to if they're being forced or contracted for X amount of post. So speaking of Alex, she literally took her final exam at a party on this trip and apparently passed with a 98%. Now, it wouldn't be a brand trip without some drama. For the most part, this brand trip has been pretty drama-free, but some people think there might be some drama between Alex and Meredith. Alex posted this video of her dancing with her friend in their pajamas, having a good time, and people are saying that Meredith was in the background side-eyeing her. People were commenting, stop, is Meredith side-eyeing you? You can tell everyone behind is judging. Oh my god, why? 
But honestly, I don't know if I really got that feeling. I think Meredith saw her dancing, and then she started to do her own dance, and I think people are reading into it a little bit too much. So part one of the trip seemed to go over really well. There wasn't any real drama, Tart seems to have fixed a lot of the issues from last time around, and it looks like everyone had a good time. Part two started tonight, which is Friday night, so we're just gonna have to wait and see what that brings us. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Has the improvements of this Tarte trip changed your mind on influencer brand trips, or do you still hate them and wish brands didn't do them? Let me know and I'll see you next time.